In this video, we'll take a quick look at the principal component analysis for spectroscopy app. I have the app already installed. When I right click on the icon, I see a context menu from which I can select show sample folder. This opens a folder with a sample project that has been included with the app. Let me drag and drop the file onto origin to open it. I have a worksheet here with many columns of spectra grouped using information in the comments. So I have non-olive oils, I have olive oils, and I have mixed oils, and a column with the timestamp. Let me launch the dialog, and first I need to select the spectra. So I click the hunt button. Select the entire sheet, hold control key and leave out the first column. So thereby selecting all the other columns as my spectral data. Then for the frequency wavelength control, I will select the first column which in this case is a timestamp. And there are several other controls in this dialog. One key control in this panel is the group info. I have already set it to comments which is where the information is available to distinguish uh, one sample from another in terms of which group they belong to. Under settings, the number of components to extract has been set to two. And quantities to compute, I want scores to be computed. And in the plots tab, I am asking for a sc score plot. And I'm also asking for confidence elements. So let me click OK. Origin performs the, the app performs the computation. Then I can go to my report sheet, which has several tables. One key table is the eigenvalue table, which shows how many principal components um, listed on the first column and the cumulative percentage of how well the data is described. So by by the time you get to two components, 89% of the data is already described. Let's collapse this table and let's first look at the score plot. Let me double click to open the score plot and maximize it. So here you see that the app used the group info from the comments column to distinguish the data. And what is plotted here is the principal component one versus two. And from the confidence ellipse and the scattered data here, you can clearly see that the olive oil group is very nicely separated, which is the green um, scatter points, whereas the mixed oils and non-olive oils overlap fairly. There is a notes window in this project, which points to a blog page. So if you open the blog, this blog gives you a much detailed description of the analysis and how to interpret all the results. Please uh, download this app, go through the blog, try it with your data, and please come back to our website to leave a comment or to rate the app. Thank you for watching.